Tropical Storm Nicole reaching hurricane strength Wednesday night. In fact, it made landfall on Florida's Atlantic coast earlier this morning. It was then later downgraded to a tropical storm before it heads up into Georgia and the Carolinas today and on Friday. NBC's Jay Gray has more from Jensen Beach, Florida. Hey there, and look, a big change in conditions from overnight and early morning as this storm pushes through Florida and into Georgia. I want to show you, though, the waves are still big here, building and just huge rollers moving into the coastline here. Flooding has been an issue over the last 24 hours. The dunes that protect this area uh, battered significantly and many of them breaking, washed away. And so you've got that flooding that we talk about uh, pouring over roadways, some of the roadways torn up. And then you've got water into businesses and homes as well. And so that's something they'll be dealing with over the next several days. Here it was a massive storm, more than 400 miles wide. So it affect uh, at one time the entire state here. Power outages, another big deal. More than 300,000 without power. And that number is expected to grow as well. Now the storm uh, really went to a tropical storm uh, not long after crossing the shoreline, about 40 miles uh, to the north of where we are right now, near Vero Beach. Uh, but even though it was downgraded to a tropical storm from a Category 1 hurricane, still causing some major issues, and it will for the next few days. This system's going to push into Georgia and the Carolinas and then up the eastern seaboard. So you'll see wind, you'll see rain associated with this for the next at least 48 hours for millions of people having to deal with the effects of Nicole. That's the very latest from here in Jensen Beach. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you now.